So this screencast will demonstrate how to use multi-bit buses on Logisim. So to do this, we're going to build an adder. So under arithmetic here, we've got an adder block. So when I select it here, up to now, we tend to have been using single bit buses. But now I'm going to change this on the adder to four bit and put that in. So it means rather than having to string up four single bit adders together, we can just use a single uh, four bit adder. As you can see now, uh, the inputs here, so for the carry in and the carry out, they're blue dots and that uh, represents that they're just a single bit. But the input here and here and the output are in these black dots and that tells us that it's a bus. So we need to connect up you know, our bus inputs to here. So we go on the wiring and I'll miss that pin. So I'll just face this to the east. So this is going to be an input. And now I need to select data bits for. So I'm going to put that on here. So you can see now we've got this bo uh, box with four bits inside of it. And I connect that up to one input. And you can see now we get this thick black line that tells us that this is a uh, bus. So I'll just select that. I'll just copy and paste it. Let's just say uh, dragging the new one in. And I'll hook it up to the other input. And then the output, again, on so the pin, but now this is an output. Again, four bits. First, this to the west. And connect that up. So now we've got our four bit inputs and our four bit output. But we still need to connect up the carry in, so that's an input. But this is only the carry in, just a single bit. So I'll face that to the east, put this in. And again, we need a single bit output for the carry out, so output, yes. Face it to the west. So it's a single bit, so one data bit and hook that up. So now we need to give these labels, so I'll select this. So I'll call this one CI for carry in, and then just A, B, oops. It can be CO for carry out, and we'll just call the output Y. So now using the port tool, should be able to select the individual bits in here. So I've set the lowest bit of one, so we know one and zero is going to give us an output of one. So the three and zero is obviously three, three plus one is four. So see, this is using buses makes it much easier to draw the circuits and much you know makes it much tidier to look at. And I'll just show you now as well how to use a splitter, so you might have seen this in the menu, but we've not actually used it yet. So we can use this, because this, well inside of this bus, so essentially this bus has got four bits of inside of it, so we can use a splitter to access these individual bits. So we need to do that sometime. So I'm going to select this splitter, and the bit width, so this, this is a four bit bus, so I need to make sure the bit width is set to four. And then we want to access each of the um, individual bits. So I'm going to select four there as well. Now I'm not sure what's gone on here, but that should have been three. So here we want to access bits zero, one, two, and three. I'm going to get that splitter, put it into the circuit. I'm going to connect that up. So again, these thick black lines tell you that using a bus. So now we can actually get access with the splitter to the individual bits, so bit zero, bit one, bit two, bit three. So I'll just use a probe on um, on these, so I need to face that south. So I'll put four probes in. Oops. So it's like we do on paper, the least significant bits, so bit zero is on the right, so I'll hook it up like this. This should be a one. Yeah. So this shows how we can use a splitter to access individual bits from the bus. 
Okay, so, so this is a four bit adder circuit. So again, we can use test scripts like we've done before to test it. So I've got a test, I've got an empty text file ready here. So again, the uh, hash sign is a comment. So we'll do test vector for four bit adder. So now we have to specify the inputs again, but because we're using buses, we have to tell the test script the size of the bus with these use that using square brackets. So A is four bits, B is also four bits, C in is just a single, so C I is just a single bit, so there's no brackets here. The output Y is also four bits, so we need to put that there, and then C eight. So this is how you create a test script for buses. Make sure you specify the uh, bus width. So now we're going to put some on the next line. We can just put some test circuit, test sums into tests. So I'll just to do it, make it easy. I'll just do four zeros plus uh, three again. So zero zero one one. So if we've got no carrying for that, we know the output is just going to be equal to b. So zero plus three is just three, and there's no carry. So I'll just save that. And so I'll add another one as well. So we can do we'll just. If you do one 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 one, and then zero 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 one again, no carrying. So we know now that's gonna when we do this sum, that should all go to zero and give us a carry out. So I'll save that test script, and back in Logisim Evolution on the simulate menu, we'll load the test vector. So I'll load that, and we can see we've passed both of these tests. 